Basic Assembly This tutorial will introduce the basic assembly functions, how to insert components, and how to add constraints. Follow along as we do a simple case. Create a new file and name it Toggle. Go to the Assembly module, click Multi-Insert. Select the file located in the installation directory. Training folder, toggle clamp file. Pick all parts except for assembly. Click OK, then Done. View the assembly manager. Move the mouse over the component name, which will highlight the model. Click the anchor command to fix one component. Pick the left side flange component. Next, move other components to suitable positions, then add the constraints. Click Move Tool. Pick one component, then drag the coordinate axis to move the component. We can also pick the handle and move it along a different direction. So far, we have moved all components to different positions. Next, add a constraint. Click Align Command Set Filter to the Face. Pick the cylinder surface and this one. Pick the same facing option. Continuously pick this face and this side face. Change direction. Click OK to finish. Middle click to repeat the last operation. Pick the cylinder surface and this one for concentric alignment. Pick the side face and flange side face for coincident alignment. Continuously add concentric constraint for link component. Pick cylinder surfaces for definition. Using the preview, select the right direction. Continuously pick cylinder surfaces to add another concentric alignment. Pick Plane Face for Coincident Alignment. Change Direction. Click OK to finish. Click Move Tool to copy the link component with a point-by-point -point method. Next, add other alignments. Define two concentric constraints and one coincident alignment. The right side flange component also has two concentric alignments and one coincident alignment. Continuously pick the faces to add constraints.
Let's inquire about the alignment status. If it's gray, it means this component is anchored. Green is well defined. Blue is underdefined. Click the drag feature to test the assembly freedom. Pick the underdefined component and drag it to move it. Stop it in this position. Click Interference Check. Click the Check button to calculate all components. The interference results will be listed in the dialog. Pick any to view. Click OK to finish. Next, using the drag tool, correct the position of the handle component. OK? Finished.